All right, so let's make the jump into the next sector. We had the choice between pirate control and rebel control. People wanted me to go to the pirate control, but I'm going to do go to the rebel control here, guys, because uh, then I have the choice between two green sectors, and it will be the home world, whatever, whichever home world it it will be. We will go there, and I, if I'm not mistaken, we still have a quest going uh, that we can resolve in the next sector. So we will see. Hello, Messias. Thank you for joining us again. You are still alive on board the Catastrophe 2. The stealth sea ship here that we are trying to win in. Okay, here's the quest. Next to the exit beacon. We have some nebula locations. Alright, that's fine. And some battles. I think I'm going to take the battles here and then move through the nebula and then see what happens up here. Yeah. So, we will rely on hacking. In the next two fights. Whatever. Maybe we find a weapon or something. Hello, Alphador! How's it going? Old Dodger is here as well. Hello! Uh, yeah, the, um, the tweet for today was half in German. I just felt like it, but I immediately translated it into English. <coughs> so what do we have? Level 4 enemy. I just talked about it, that they are coming up and that I was not expecting them in this sector. And there you go. Now you have one. Uh, do they want to get away? That would be horrible. No, they don't. Oh, look at this. They have a, a combat zone, missile, burst laser 2, and iron. Iron is bad. Iron is always bad in this situation. We need two energy. And we will take them from evasion and oxygen once we, we need them. They don't have a defense drone. That's good. So we have to use hacking here if we want to win this. Cool. I think we can start working on those shields. Actually, did, did the, was that the missile? I better make sure that I get that missile. Small bomb. Ah, okay, now the missile is incoming. The iron mist, cool. I think the defense here is shooting at the missile. Good thing, good thing. Does the iron hit is the question. It missed! Then we have to hope, beyond hope, that... Uh, that uh, uh, hacking will do its job beautifully and that both charge laser hits. Oh no! We went, we missed once! Can we get that beam in? Oh, we can get that beam in! Hacking 2, guys! Hacking 2! OP! So the thing is, do we really want to... If we bring down shields by one, we can actually try... Oh, we only have three missiles left. The thing is, if we don't, do not work on the shields now, uh, we will have to wait until um, hacking will become available again. That ship is scary. Scary as hell. But that iron damage here, I would love to avoid that. If I can somehow. I think the better decision is to go for the weapons. Alpha Door 7. I think I said hello, right? Uh, hello to you again. Ben Wild, how's it going? Good evening. Lanius borders would be great against that ship, says Messias. Good idea, good idea. Give me some. Uh, is there any ship that focuses on boarding? Yes, there is. There are actually more than one. Uh, I think the, the best one in the line of these ships is um, the one that has a, a four-room teleporter and always the Zoltans on them. <laughs> Together with the clone bay. You have to add that, of course. The clone bay is also on that ship. Yeah, no boarding tactics so far. I, I, I admit I could be better at boarding. That's true. 
I think I want to go for the uh, uh, for the weapons here first. Yeah, with the mini beam. Yeah, I avoided the iron damage. I think that was a good idea. So question is, do we wait uh, 20 seconds for hacking to come back before we do another um, attack with our outfit? I think we can't we can't get through without hacking. No, we can't get through. What am I thinking? Ah, oh, come on, defense! You can do better. Okay, waiting, waiting for that hacking to come back. Okay, defense, that was better. Alrighty, clone base back up. You never know when when you need this. Oh, hacking is here. So let's start to work on that on these shields. All right, let's send the small bomb in once more. We miss again. What the hell? Let's send in the chain laser. Uh, the charge laser, sorry. And here. Let me see if we hit shields. Yes, we do. Um, Then we can work more on the weapons, I feel. Right? The only thing is we need to get an energy into oxygen. And hurting weapons might actually help with that. Because then we can, uh, you know, take it from evasion for a second or two. <clears throat> okay, the iron came back up. That is a little bit unfortunate. Since the missile is down right now, we can take the energy from defense, from the defense drone, and put the other thing in evasion. Yeah, I like that. We need that oxygen. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm. So the thing is, both weapons shot uh, in perfect sync. But the lasers of the burst of the burst laser will come in first. I think one of the lasers will miss, but the iron will hit, and then the the combat drone will hit. So we are in for damage, for some damage here, I guess. Oh. No, it worked out beautifully. Excellent. And now hacking is back up. So let's start hacking. Do we actually need the small bomb here now? I don't think we need the small bomb here now. Because hacking 2 is good enough. Um, no, wait. No. Oh, I did shoot. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, iron damage down. Damn it! They got through! They got through the shields. A tricky ship. That ship is scary, dudes. Ship is scary. Okay, come on, hacking. Come back up. Ethan got hit, by the way. Ethan BB. Okay. Let's work on the shields. Ooh, we interrupted that uh, burst laser. Good. Excellent. I'm glad that this ship doesn't want to get away. That's a good thing. Now it's only iron damage coming in. We got this, guys. We got hit once. And it's all thanks to hacking. I have to say, hacking was a lifesaver here. Definitely. Okay, the missile came back up, but we will destroy that ship before anything happens. Oh no, we won't. Whoa! Alright, alright. Let's get back the defense drone up then. For that last volley that we need to get in. Okay, defense one, this time you got the missile. But there is still 10 seconds left for our last volley. So there comes another missile. Yay, we got it. Start working on these shields. 
Okay, there comes the missile. There comes the missile. So we don't need the small bomb. Put it into evasion. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. Cool! Oh, wow! 50 scraps! That is a reward befitting of the 6th sector. Alfredo says Ben Wyatt, whenever he goes to the other ship, Jordy Jones gets bored easily. Hey yo, Alfredor. Hey yo. Uh, ben Wyatt says probably a case of never change a running system, or in that case, strategy, Jordy. Yeah, Ben Wyatt actually. There is something uh, to that uh, along these lines. Because there are. Um, certain threats that are always there, like you have to deal with missiles. Somehow, if you do, uh, do if you do not have a counter to missiles, they will shred you apart by by attrition or li like like alpha like an alpha strike against you. Uh, so yeah, in the end, you will come out to always have an answer for certain threats. And that lends to having always the same answer, right? You're getting getting used to that somehow. So yeah, I think there is a basic strategy that I want to follow every playthrough. But the good thing about FTL is that it is comes in so many different forms, this basic strategy, that it is uh, feels different every time. 50 scraps, my goodness, that is a great... Uh, reward and we also get one missile and the drone part back doesn't change the fact that we are low on missiles though uh, Ben White says uh, Alpha do do know would be a fresh thing to be the invader for once we will get to that guys we will get to that don't worry don't worry um, Zayus, uh, exactly that is the one thing that I can't see um, how is boarding good against the flagship? I don't see that. Uh, you can't kill the whole crew because then the AI takes over. And that's not exactly an improvement. Right? So, I, I don't understand how this is a, a better a better way to deal with that, with the flagship. They are getting through abandoned ship! The Sovinal! What? Oh, because if we were uh, boarders, yeah, I get it, I get it. Oh, a normal system size, yeah, okay. I, oh, yeah, then uh, you are talking about um, how the uh, weapon systems are isolated from the rest of the ship and you teleport into the weapon systems. Yeah, I see that working, Zayas, yeah. Yeah, you take out the weapons, now I gotcha, yeah. On normal, yeah, on hard, this is unfortunately not possible because the weapons rooms are connected to the rest of the ship. So what they are going to do is... Uh, if you teleport into their weapon system, they will have two dudes in there fighting you and once they get low on health, they cycle them through, right? They cycle through their whole crew, uh, the, uh, the wounded ones will go into med bay and two new guys will come in. So you will never have the chance to do, uh, you know, deal damage to the system. So yeah, that doesn't work uh, on hard, unfortunately. It's a good, a good idea though for the other <coughs> difficulties. So I'm thinking, do I want to do something with these 80 scraps? I don't think so. Uh, what I do want to do is, wait, maybe in an energy. Yeah, let's get that energy up. So that we can power defense. Yeah, now we only need to take the energy from the oxygen. Okay. On to the next fight. Let's hope we find the shop soon. Uh, Rylock, hello, thank you for joining us. You say, boarding the side weapons for a quick and easy takedown of weapons. Then in later rounds, just kill them all. Let the AI take over. What is it going to do? Spawn people to fight you off in stage 3? No, the, uh, okay, you are then relieved of that problem. That's true. Actually, once the AI take over, you have, um, you know, free roam around, around their ship. That is true. It will repair the weapons after a while, right? It's just like fighting an auto ship. A rebel ship approaches cautiously. Personally, says the captain, I, I'd have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir. I'm no use without war to fight. Raise your shields! 
an honorable opponent, but still an opponent. Look at this, how uh, vastly different uh, the types of enemies are here. We just came from a level 4 enemy, and now we have two levels of shields here. This is, uh, yeah, vastly different, just as, as I said. Um, I hope these la uh, lasers here are just single heavy lasers, or the heavy lasers one, for example, or hull lasers. Yeah, but this is definitely the burst laser too. Uh, <clears throat> do we need hacking here? That's the question. That, that is the weird question. I think I'm going to hack and not use the small bomb. We have only three missiles. I want to um, save up on this. So no small bomb here. Bring up the defense one. Bring in hacking. We have intruders down here. Okay. Oh, uh, let's start the hack. Whoa! That was really quick here. Oh! What? Did they kill my defense drone? Seriously? Seriously! We want to interrupt that burst laser with the mini beam. Didn't really work out. All right, they are working on my hacking. Uh, we are going to interrupt them for a sec so that, that that really doesn't go down. Oh, good that their missile weapon is going down. That's good. Okay, cool. Cool. Mazias! Our brave uh, NG here. Stop them from killing hacking. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I want my defense drone back though. Once that missile comes back up. Oh, they want to shoot their way th uh, through the shields to see Eagle. Well, Eagle is prepared for you guys. Definitely. <clears throat> okay, let's try to get through two levels of shields here. I don't know whether or not that is going to work or not. Wait a second. Over there, the air. Uh, okay, the intruders are already gone. Perfect. Well, then you can go back to where you were. Oh, the shields are gone! Uh oh, 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 oh! That's a little bit unfortunate because I think we will not hit the third room. Yeah, we need the weapons down more than we need the shields down at the moment. At the moment. So, what went down? What went offline? Okay, this one here. Okay, cool, cool. But it's back up. Okay, they're repairing fast. Okay, we have another chance here, so let's do it. Yay! Now, this time we can do it again, as always. There you go. Oh! There comes an offer for 55 scraps, 5 fewer, 4 missiles! And an augmentation on top of that! Guys, you know me. I, I uh, you know, treasure life above everything else. And who am I to, uh, you, you know, not take an offer and a plea for life? Of course I, I accept. Of course I accept uh, for your own, uh, you know, for your own lives, my dear opponents. Yeah, of course, I take that offer. <coughs> wow. <laughs> Reverse Ironfield, take it, says Messiahs. Hello, Jugu Jugu. Thank you for joining us. EK also joined us. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at that. What's this doing? Protects your ship from iron damage, giving a 50% chance to negate it entirely. So, yeah, it's a 50-50 chance whether or not iron damage does actually damage to you. If it hits, right, there's also the m chance to uh, dodge under it, right? Uh, and, uh, fun fact, if you stack the reverse iron field, it gives you immunity. It's true. If you have two reverse iron fields, iron damage cannot do anything to you. It stacks. It stacks. Uh, I'm glad that I got four missiles out of that, actually, together with the, with the rest. Yeah, Dark Nasa says Jordy's a sucker for augmentation, that's it. It's true, it's true. 
It's true. Um, is there a shop coming up soon? Oh yeah, we have one here. We could go through the whole of the nebula first. Do we want to go to an asteroid field? But then we would have to go to the store next. So, mm, I don't like that. The problem is though, there is no fights being marked here, so it might actually be... That we don't get any scraps if we go into these locations, but these are more locations than this one. So I will go southwards. The only question here is, am I going to get another energy? No, I will save up my scraps now for the shop. For the shop! Guys, for the shop! <coughs> Alright, what's going on? Nothing, as I feared. Aha! Oh! Two drone parts for nine fuel? That will be the last I would need of, for fuel at all. Wait a second. No, I, I don't think we need this. Look at this. I have 17 fuel. I am in sector 6. I maybe make 7 more jumps. Maybe 8. No, no, no. 7 will be enough. 7 more jumps in this sector. And in the next 10 fuel to get across one sector, 10 fuel will be enough. And that is, you know, thinking that, uh, or assuming that we don't get an, another additional fuel out of the next 17 jumps, which is unlikely. So I don't think we need to make that trade, is what I'm saying. We can save the drone parts. Drone parts are immensely useful to us. We have three drains on uh, our drone parts, hacking, defense one, and the hull repair. So as good as that trade is, I would usually make this, but in this situation, we don't need more fuel. So I'm ignoring this. Doesn't help with our store situation. Oh my goodness! Was it really necessary? This is an asteroid field, an iron storm. Ah, this does not connect. Why does this not connect? So I'm thinking about... I want to make that quest. At some point. I want to do that quest. Oh god, it's like three jumps away from the store. And I want to make more jumps before the store. But this is too much of an... Of a detour. So this is how it is. We can make one more extra jump before the store. And we have to jump to both of these hazardous... Or actually, if we just go through one of these... Two, three, four, five... Was actually seven jumps outside of a nebula before we get to the quest. I don't think we can make that many jumps. Maybe if we... Okay, so... Yeah, we will take this iron storm with us. We will take both hazards with us. Both hazards. Mesha Flak Tracks, how is it going, Mecha? You can handle the iron storm, yes! That's what that's what I was thinking. Nice. Alright, so let's get to the iron storm. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay, two levels of shields, a Halbert beam, my goodness. Uh, let's see what they are actually able to bring up. All right, <laughs> all weapons. Oh god. All right. So the charge laser alone doesn't help, but the mini beam will help here, together with the charge laser. Cool. And I think with three levels of shields, we are still not safe with three levels of shields. But I don't think they sync up. I don't think these weapons will sync up. 
So I think like this should be uh, the optimal way to deal with this. Maybe we can even bring down the weapons in our first attempt. Okay, out comes a, a drone. Because that halberd beam is down. We will, we will have a, a little bit of a problem because of um, oxygen. Otherwise, we seem to be fine at the moment. And I'm concerned that they maybe try to get away at some point. What is this? Haha! <laughs> good choice, good choice. Good choice of drone there. Okay, here comes an offer for six missiles. That's actually pretty good. Uh, uh, don't fight and 26 scraps is a little bad. It's a little bit on the low side for sector six. We just got 50 out of a, of a fight, so I will not accept surrender here. I need more. I need more. Bam! 35? What? All right. So yeah, we should have taken the offer then. I feel. Maybe. Well. It's fine, it's fine. It comes out roughly the same here. Roughly. Nah, <laughs> Dugo Dugo asks, does uh, Reverse Ironfield work against Iron Storms? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. It should know, it should know. If you look at the, you know, their titles and their names. Um... Eaglebeakster said, did anyone see that new game Space Food Truck? Seems a bit similar to FTL mechanic-wise. I will have a look at it. S sounds interesting, Eaglebeakster. Sounds interesting. There's a quest that's Dugu Dugu. Yeah, we will g go there. I was, you know, thinking hard how to get it, how to get to it. Okay, why can't I jump? Oh, because of this. We need power in the engines, of course. Power in the engines. So, oh, there's a store down here as well. <laughs> So we have to decide between between the stores. Uh, okay, we will go to this store, go through this asteroid field, go to this fight, this fight, then to the quest. Yeah, this is how we do. This is how we do. On to the store! To the store! Look at how many, how much energy. Or how many energy bars that Iron Storm took away. Just... Alright, let's see what this store has. Let's hope for a weapon, guys. Let's hope for a weapon. Ah! <coughs> oh god! This is, this is a really bad store, guys. A really bad store. Although they have mind control. I could be... I could be... P persuaded to buy mind control. I, actually, I think I'm going to do it. There you go. Yes, give me mind control. And I think we keep the reverse iron field for now. I don't have any uh, need for anything else at the moment. What we need is energy though, if we want to power everything reliably. Right, like so. The mind control will be used um, mainly in the, flag in the flagship fight. Um, defensively against their mind control and on stage three uh, and in all other cases um, to take over the pilot when we have our first volley coming in yeah hello g pudding sup how are you uh, eagle beaks says scott manley did a good video on it okay okay eagle beaks i will have a look mecca says it's even missing an augment yeah, it doesn't even have augment, uh, augmentations for us because our augmentations are full. <laughs> oh, you mean this here? Yeah, it only gives us two options. That's what you mean, Mecha. Got it, got it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. A pretty bad store. So actually, I w hmm. Look at this. Three heathers around this store here. I, that was a dirty tarp. That what it's it's what it was. A dirty tarp. 
Unfortunately, we can't make four jumps before that store. One, two, three, maybe. Yeah, so, <clears throat> new plan. Uh, we will jump into this asteroid field and uh, jump through this uh, empty, or now empty, nebula location to get to the store. I think that is hugely important at the moment because uh, we need that other weapon still. Although we have hacking and all that good stuff, um, nothing beats another weapon. So, uh, on to the next fight. <laughs> 